Hello everybody, my name is Michael Hicks and welcome to the very first video in my intro to programming video series. This series is geared towards people who have little to no programming experience. The goal of everything I'm doing is to get you guys programming your own video games, but if you've never programmed before, I'll need to teach you the basics so you know what's going on when we get to the full-on game programming. Um, we're going to be using a language called C Sharp, but there are many different programming languages that you can use. A common one that you'll see the bigger game studios use is C++, but C Sharp is also a pretty popular language. A lot of smaller independent game studios will use it, and I'd say it's also very popular in the business world, like people who program apps for um, businesses to like store data and things like that. Um, you would see C Sharp used for that as well. So even though like I'm trying to teach you guys stuff geared towards like making your own games, this knowledge can transfer over into other types of work too. So I think this will be a very valuable skill to learn. Um, I am assuming that you are running a copy of Windows. Windows 7 or above is probably what you need to be running. But let's go ahead and download the, pr the software that we'll need to program our things in. And the software that we'll be using is called an IDE, an Integrated Development Environment. And there are many different IDEs that you can use to write code in. The one we'll be using is called Visual Studio. And the whole reason that you would want to use an IDE is because it makes our life easier. Um, whenever we're done writing our code, we can just press the play button on these programs and it will do a bunch of magic underneath the hood and uh, compile our code and make our program run. Um, there's some other cool things that you can, you can use the IDEs for that are pretty essential to what we'll be doing as programmers. Um, they let you debug your code. So let's say we're programming and there's a problem with what we're doing. Debugging will let us step through line by line as our program is running to see what's going on. And that's very commonly how programmers will find what the bugs are. That's why it's called debugging. Um, but yeah, I mean, there's a, there's a lot of other good reasons to use um, an IDE, but I just wanted to give you guys a brief overview of what we're doing here or, or what this software is. Um, but yeah, don't let the word scare you. It's a fancy term, IDE, but you know, basically it's just some software that we're going to use to program our games in and learn how to program in. Nothing scary, okay? Um, so let's go ahead and go to Google. And y usually, um, you know, there are like three or four different versions of Visual Studio. Most of them cost money. If I remember right, some of them cost a lot of money. But luckily, uh, Microsoft is nice enough to put out a free version of Visual Studio. And the free version is called Visual Studio Community. So let's go ahead and type that in Google. You could probably type in Visual Studio Free and get the same results. <laughs> but uh, let's just go ahead and type Community. And the very first result right here, see it says Free IDE. We know what that word means, IDE, yeah. Let's do it, let's click that, and let's go to the download page. And yeah, we have a big button right in our face that says download VS Community 2017. Go ahead and click that. And once you've saved that, um, you should have a little an exe file, like one little file. I have it right here. I already downloaded it before I started the video but it should just be named VS Community. Let's go ahead and double click that and hit continue. And this box should pop up and basically what it's doing it's loading a bunch of different options for what version or what things we want to install with Visual Studio. If you remember earlier, I said that there's many different programming languages um, and there'll be some options to, pro to install like C++ stuff, um, a whole bunch of other things, but we want C Sharp. So go ahead and hit install right here, Visual Studio Community install. And here's all the options that I was just talking about. Um, don't worry about anything. The only thing we care about is .NET desktop development. And what .NET is, is basically a library of code that makes our lives easier as programmers. Um, don't worry about the specifics, just know that 
It's a bunch of pre-made functions that we'll call to make things easier for us, right? And if you see on the right side here, it says C Sharp and Visual Basic is included in this. C Sharp is what we need. And at this point, we'll just hit install down here. And uh, I'm going to stop the video because it's like a three gigabyte download. Um, but once you guys have got this installed, resume the video and we'll go from there. So uh, I'll see you in just a second. All right, everybody. We should have the Visual Studio software installed by now. You probably had to restart your computer. Hopefully that wasn't too painful. But let's go ahead and start it up. When you hit start, you probably will see it come up right here highlighted. But if you don't, just type in Visual Studio 2017. And make sure you click Visual Studio 2017 and not the blend version. That is not what we need, so go ahead and hit that. All right, and you should see the Visual Studio splash screen come up, just like this. And it might take a little bit to initially boot up, but let's give it a second here. All right, and then eventually this screen will come up. Eventually, you'll probably want to make an account to sign in with this. Um, I think eventually it'll ask you or basically force you to register the software. It's still free, but eventually you'll need to sign in. But for now, let's just say not now, maybe later. All right. <laughs> They're going to get things ready. Thank you for your patience. And we should see another window in just a second. All right, and then we have a few more settings to set here. Let's go ahead and set our development settings to Visual C Sharp, because that's the language we're using. And then the second thing here is more of a, like a personal preference. This is the color scheme that you want Visual Studio to show as. So do you want it to be a white window or do you want it to be a black window? Um, I find that when I'm programming, I'm looking at the screen so much that when it's like a bright white window, it hurts my eyes. Um, so I'm going to go with the dark theme because I feel like that's a little easier on the eyes when you're like staring at a screen for so long. Um, so whatever you want there, go ahead and pick it and then let's press start Visual Studio down here. Go ahead and give that a click. And then <laughs> it's going to prepare you for first use. We're almost done. Thank you for your patience. This may take a few more minutes. <laughs> All right, cool. And finally, Visual Studio has started. Um, that'll be it for this video because basically I just wanted to get you guys set up. In the next video, we'll make our first project and begin programming. I'll see you guys there.